As you create your sales plan for 2024, what's the one issue you must pay special attention to? That one issue is your ideal customer profile because that's the one issue that's going to determine whether or not you gain velocity in your sales efforts. Picture this is 2012. I was just voted as the vice president of the National Speakers Association, meaning that two years from that date, I was taking over as president. It was like having two full-time jobs, one being on the leadership team of the National Speakers Association and the other one running my speaking and consulting business. I make my money by speaking at conferences, consulting with customers, and also coaching executives. Well, I had to make sure that in order to do both and do them well, I had to make sure that my ideal customer profile was in tip-top shape. Now, in terms of speaking while during the year that I was president, well, that wasn't going to happen a lot unless I was doing it on behalf of NSA. But where I did have control of my revenues was in increasing my consulting and coaching business while I was traveling for NSA. And here are the parameters that I found matched my ideal customer profile for coaching and consulting clients. One, they had to have high growth goals. Two, they had to be in revenue of 10 million to 200 million per annum. And three, they either had to be in the manufacturing space, medical device, and or service organizations. Because those are the organizations that I tended to have the best results with. Why 10 million to 200 million dollar revenue companies? Because they are the types of companies that buy faster. They identify the type of expertise that they need and they probably do not have it on their staff and they'll be the first ones to go out and hire that expertise, especially on a 1099 basis. So when I got that really clear in my head, 2014, the year that I was president, actually was the best revenue year that I had in my business up to that point. And why was that? It was simply because I gained velocity by understanding who my ideal prospects were, who was going to value my services more than others, who was going to have a need for those services, and who was most likely to buy those services. So as you prepare for 2024, the only question I'm asking you is who makes up your ideal customer profile? That's today's Velocity Mindset message. Please be good to yourself and others, and I'll see you in a couple of days.